Everyone has had an opinion since Bonoboy lost the Grammy, so mm -hmm. we'd like to get your take on that, weighing on that. Do you mm -hmm. think he deserves that um, award or it was okay that he lost? Well, it wasn't just time yet. Well, it wasn't just time. It's a nuanced conversation. And when people talk about the Grammys, they need to understand how the Grammys work. The Grammys um, is an academy, academy that's made up of technical people from yeah. music, producers, rec uh, recording artists, Sound songwriters, artists. technical people. And it's an American award. Yeah. It's a local award created by locals to service their industry. And so after a while, they're like, huh, there's something good happening over there. Let's just, you know, let's just throw in, just give them a little window. It's like building a house. And at some point you say, okay, ah, this house is nice. Ah, let me get a guest in. And then you get a guest in, and then this guest starts demanding that you apportion an entire room to them. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not our award. That's what people feel to understand. The Grammy has no business with you. Yeah. They are just extending a hand out of court it's like the to this in yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Bonoboy, yeah, he's done a great job. In the past, um, in the past year, two years actually, Atlantic Records, lots of money, lots of structural support, well-oiled PR machine. They've put him on all the platforms, three, three late night shows, uh, performances in the U US and the UK, uh, continental promotion, mm -hmm. you know, different territories. So the campaign too has been good, you know, and everybody expects it to happen because the significance of it is because, you know, po our pop music needs more recognition. Mm -hmm. And getting a Grammy means somebody certifying that, yeah, yeah, yeah this, this happens. Really but you also have to look at the people voting for this. These are white, predominantly white yeah. people. These are predominantly, I know a couple of people from the Grammys who have that vote, who has hit me up and said, hey, I voted for Bonner Boy, but this is why Bonner Boy did not win. Um, a lot of other people really, really like salsa. And Angelique Kidjo, have you listened to the album? People feel to, who fail to understand how good it is? It's a salsa album dedicated to Celia Cruz, one of the most legendary artists. And it's beautiful to hear that music. It's, mm -hmm. it's great. It's very technical. The mixing was good. Same as Bonoboy. Bonoboy had great music. But what would the technical people voting for this? What do they want? They don't know your story. They don't mm -hmm. know the context in which you make your music. Okay. They don't know what it means for you, for what Bonaboy represents. What they do know is this music comes from Africa and this music comes from international spaces. And so pit this against this, pit this against this. What do we like? After listening, they'll choose this for their so reasons. So would you say the power of story behind Ajali Kijo's um, album was an edge? The what? Power of storytelling. The power of storytelling. Bonaboy told better stories now. Let, let's mm -hmm. be <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be